Hi, welcome to the latest Digital Yacht How-To video. Um, today's video is going to be about updating the firmware in our WLN10 and WLN10 HS products. Now I have done a tech support note on this and this video does assume that you've got that tech support note from our uh, website. If you go to the support section and then tech support notes and it's tech support note number 00051-2013. So if you've got that tech note and you've connected up your WLN10 or WLN10HS as I've suggested in that tech note then this uh, video will show you how to do the uh, update of the firmware using TerraTerm. So without further ado I'm going to open the TerraTerm program. Now TerraTerm just needs you to tell it what serial port you've got the WLN10 or WLN10HS connected to and in our case that's COM12, so we'll select that. Now TerraTerm, I'll just move that over there, TerraTerm defaults to 9600 boards, so first of all let's just go serial port and set that to 38400 for WLN10HS, or that would be 4800 if you're doing a WLN10. Okay, so we've got the terminal program open and I'm just going to plug in the power to the WLN10 now and you'll see the boot up string. There it is. And now this has got version 2.32 firmware in which was quite a common version of firmware um, on all the units we sold last year. Um, and we're going to update it to version 4.00 which uh, will give uh, compatibility for Android and it will also uh, give access point mode as well which is a more stable method of connecting to the WLN10 or WLN10HS. So that's proof that we've got communication with the module. I'm just going to put it into command mode now just to check that we've got two-way communication. To do that I've just pressed the dollar key three times uh, and that gets us into command mode and if I press the return you'll see that it's version 2.32. Okay, so I'm just going to exit that because we don't want to be in command mode when we run the macro. Um, and so I've got the macro again, this is on our website, you can download this, it mentions all about this in our tech note. Um, so I'm going to select the macro and there it is, look, WLN10HS update script. Now this update script is configured for my home office in Ferrum um, with the SSID and password of my wireless network that I use and you'll have to set up your macro um, with your SSID and password but that again is covered in the tech note. So I'm going to select that macro. Uh, first thing we see is a, do you want to start the, the update and I do so I'm going to hit OK. It does a quick factory reset on the um, on the uh, wireless board, then it sets up some uh, settings and it then makes the device reboot and try and connect to the wireless network in your uh, home or office. And as you can see here, it's linked and it's auto associated with my uh, router which is the TP-Link one and it's associated OK, you've got this associated here, um, it's given it an IP uh, address here and uh, it's all ready to go so it has rebooted in DHCP mode and we can hit OK now. So now it will try and do the update and it's updating it by downloading the firmware from this FTP site here and very quick, there we go, it's all done. You want to make sure that it says update OK here, uh, which it has done, so uh, we can click OK now. So now it will reconfigure it with all the, the settings and uh, once it's done all of that it will ask us to give the four digits for the SSID that we want to do. Now I'm just going to put one, two, three, four in here but hopefully you've made a note of what your uh, four digits were before you started the update process and just enter those here. And there we go, it, it finishes the macro by just making it print out all the settings within the wireless module so you've got all of that information there. Um, and that's it. So I'm just going to bring back up that macro. So the update's completed. Press OK to exit. And it just reboots. And the important thing here is that you can see that it's now version 4.00. It's in AP mode. And it's listening there, waiting for somebody to connect. So that's it.
everything's updated that's exactly as you should see it on your system and your uh, WLN 10 or WLN 10 HS now is fully updated to the latest firmware well I hope you found this uh, video interesting and uh, if you have any questions you can always email us at support at digitalyacht.co.uk alright thanks for listening